Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a survey funnel inside of System.io. And just to let you know, if you haven't got started yet with System.io, I have left a link in the description. If you get started, I'm also gonna be giving you a full funnel scene training course, which is gonna show you how to use System.io as well as make money with System.io. So go ahead and check that out. So what I've done is actually gone ahead and created a quick quiz funnel to show you how it works. Basically, you add in the information you want and you add in the different results. So for this example, I'm just gonna add in all these different questions, all these different answers, and you can see as it goes through, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Um, you've got a bit, bunch of different answers. Finally, once you've completed, you can create an opt-in form to collect people's emails. So I'm just gonna say test, test email at gmail.com like so. And what I have done is set up a redirect that's going to take them to an affiliate offer, which is what most people are going to be actually using this for. So it's not gonna take a fake one. I'll just put in some random one, like so. And it's gonna take them to the affiliate offer, right? So as you can see, redirected, everything's good. So let's go ahead and make this, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch so you can understand how it works. I'm gonna once again come to funnels, click on create and choose a funnel, uh, a name. So I'm gonna call this the YouTube funnel example, right? Click on build an audience, choose my funnel scene domain, click on create. So this is gonna be a very quick video. I just wanted to help a few people out. Loads of people have been asking, so I wanted to make this as simple as possible. So I will just choose this template because it's really simple. I'm gonna delete majority of stuff on there. I'm just gonna call this the survey funnel example, right? Um, survey funnel, just so you guys know how um, everything works. Click on save and then edit page. Okay, I'm gonna come down. I'm just gonna delete everything pretty much below this line because I want it just to be very simple. If you're using paid advertising, simple is better than more. Um, you don't wanna distract them from your objective, all right? So that's all pretty good. I'm gonna delete that and probably just create this a bit bigger. So I scroll down, make bottom maybe 300 like so, okay? Now you wanna to come to elements scroll down to survey drop in survey uh, uh, wherever you want it to go so i'm going to just put it there i might actually drag this above it get rid of that yep and start editing the survey so add your questions in here now what i've done to save a bit of time is i've gone ahead and actually got a list of questions and answers right so First of all, you wanna choose your first question, come up to the left, click on edit survey questions. So you see add your question, click on it, then you wanna paste in your first question and you wanna paste in the answers, right? So this is extremely easy to use. So I'm gonna have your bone, muscle, right? And also body fat. And just to let you know, I took these answers from another survey. I don't actually use this particular offer. Okay, so that's question one. It all looks pretty good. So what you want to do is just click on back. If you want to add more answers too, you can click add answer. It's going to add another box, um, but I'm just going to leave it there. Click on back. There's our first question. So you want to click on add a uh, question. Click on the question once again and start pasting in the second answer, right? So I'm just going to go ahead. Sorry, it's a little bit boring, but unfortunately that is what it is sometimes, right? So answer is that one. Click on add another answer. Right, copy and paste, super quick. Add another answer and add it in like so. Now just remember, click on back, not the X. Click on back and it'll take you back. You can reorder them as well with the little buttons. I'll add in all of these. There's a couple more just to really nail it in what you need to do, right? You can also add in a subtitle if you wish. It all depends on your marketing um, requirements, right? Add a new answer. Copy paste. Now, once again, I don't actually um, promote this particular one, but it is very interesting. Now, if you were wondering while I'm copy and pasting it in, um, where the answers go. Now, this isn't a logic based. Um, this isn't a logic based survey. It's more of like a you're getting information from people and it's storing it in their account, right? So. 
I'll just uh, quickly finish this last one like so. Okay, so that's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead, click back. I've got four questions. I've got three answers for each. I'm gonna click on X. Now this is actually good to go. Now I'm gonna delete these because I don't want them inside of there. Get rid of this button. So it's very simple, very straightforward. You can change the backgrounds, you can change, you can add images, all that sort of stuff. I'm just gonna quickly save it. Click on the eye to give you a preview of what it currently looks like. And this is it here. So if you come through to question, um, you can add the description to your question inside of there. You should backspace it if you don't want to use it. And you just choose the different things, right? So it just goes through all of the different types of questions and answers that you have. Now you've got to edit the form on the last step, which I'll show you how to do. So what you want to do is come back to survey, click on it. Final step is this part here. And you just want to come through and edit it like normal, right? So I'm going to make the button um, nice and wide. So full width, name, email is fine. Um, I'm going to change the text. It's like get your results, right? And it can be um, your body type is awaiting, right? Something like that, depending on what the offer or, um, you know, the, the result is that you're sending people to, you can edit that. And then finally, once we have added in all of our questions, all of our options, we've edited what we want on this particular um, form. Let's just say I wanted to change the order. What we need to do is make sure that our form is submitting. So you want to click on the button itself, come to action when button clicked, make sure you choose send form so you can gather their name and email. And then you want to choose either sending them to the next step in your funnel or adding them or redirecting them to a custom URL. If you're using an affiliate program, um, if you're an affiliate of something, then this is where you would add in your affiliate link. So once they get sent the results, they're going to get redirected to the affiliate offer. If you have your own offer that you want to send them to, just choose the next step in your funnel and it's going to take it to there. So I'm going to go ahead, click on save changes. Uh, actually, I'll add in a redirect URL just to show you how it works. And I'll just add it to um, just my website for now so we don't get uh, too confused. All right, so I'll just put in www, it looks good. Click on save, all right? Click on preview. It's gonna reload this page here. So I'm just gonna choose some uh, answers, put in a name, all right? Like so, click on get your results and it's gonna go ahead and submit it. It's redirected me to the website like I wanted it to. And now if I go into contacts, um, it should have my name there and my results. So here I've found the contact that I used. Now this is actually a test one I use all the time. Um, so here's the results of the first survey that I chose, not the last one. I must only take the last one that you have, but that's completely fine. So here it is here, the survey opt-in, and here's all of my answers for the survey. So that's all pretty good. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, there's where you can find all your answers. Now, a lot of people are asking, can it be a conditional logic one? Meaning, you know, if they chose this particular answer, can it take them to a certain result? At the moment, you can't. Instead, all it's doing is getting all of the answers that they choose and then putting them in the survey section inside of the contact. So what I recommend you do is create either a campaign or create a list for all the survey type funnels, and then you can come through and check the answers inside of there. Anyway, so I hope that has helped. If it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, to keep updated with new training videos. And once again, if you wanna get my free course, sign up to system.io using the link in the description. And even if you are already signed up with system, go ahead and check out the link anyway. There's an option to actually get it um, if you wanna purchase it. Okay, that's it from me guys. I'll see you in the next video.